Good afternoon. My name is Ben Waite. I'm a customer group manager for Trelleborg Offshore. I'm here to talk to you today about how Trelleborg are uh, addressing the evolving needs of subsea flow assurance. Um, myself and my esteemed colleague, Jürgen Sletten, uh, will, be, will be leading the presentation today. I'll take the first half where I'll address the, uh, how we're dealing with improving our existing systems and Jürgen will take the second half of the presentation to deal with uh, uh, new, a new development of our Vicar Firm system. First of all, I need to ask a question, if, if any of the audience would like to answer this, but wh why do we actually insulate? So why do we go to the trouble of insulating subsea hardware? Okay, so the, the answer is fairly simple. Um, it helps maintain flow rates, uh, it reduces processing costs, and it optimizes productivity. Keep the oil to a certain temperature um, above the wax and hydrate formation um, during normal operating services, which is a steady state, or during uh, cool down periods uh, due to unplanned or uh, emergency shut ins to maintain the flow of the oil through the system. Um, the greater the depth of the fields, the more expensive and more tricky it is to, uh, inter uh, to, for intervention uh, should there be a blockage in the system through hydrate formation due to cool down. Okay, so um, it's, it's, been a, it's been an industry well known secret. Uh, that there's been some issues with uh, insulation systems in the past um, and in fact in more recent times it's been rather well documented. So uh, how has Trelleborg uh, gone about addressing these, these issues? Okay, so first of all we've uh, had to look at our own systems, our own systems, our own liquid systems in place at the moment uh, and provide better qualification um, and improved um, specifications for those systems. So materials need to meet greater depths and higher temperatures. So temperatures of up to 350 degrees F and depths of 10,000 feet and in excess. So we've enhanced the existing systems by uh, understanding in greater detail the behavior of our materials. So this is an example of where we are using a liquid system, a polyurethane system for insulation, and we're understanding how the material shrinks using our own in-house FEA analysis. And this has helped, helped us develop uh, field, joint, field, joint, field joint and moulding to moulding joints that are more robust and more reliable. <clears throat> We've gone through a three year phase of, of improved qualifications and improved application techniques. So ra rather than going into detail of each one of, these, uh, each one of these points, I'll just pick one or two and just give you an example of, of how we've improved our application techniques. So we've improved the materials and we're improving how we apply them. One, one element of, uh, of the application that we've improved is uh, something we've taken from the automotive industry, a procedure we've adopted from the automotive industry to dust check the substrate prior to applying the primers and prior to applying the polyurethane systems to guarantee the bond between the PU and the substrate. Um, we use pigmented primers and, and uh, extremely long qualification works for each project now. Um, Jürgen will touch on it when he takes over the presentation. However, we've also developed an extrusion process in our plant, which is also mobile. With improved systems and improved application techniques, we've also had to improve our technologies. Our technologies for applying these systems at site to give the customer and the operators more confidence uh, and more ability to be able to check these systems. We have now in place a, a, a procedure now where you can real time record the data and use this to provide um, uh, a, a record for each individual molding. We can do this, it gives a mass flow, um, heat, temperature, um, densities, flow rates for every individual molding. This can be all kept uh, for traceability for later on. Um, moving on. So also, as we've improved technologies, we've improved materials, we've improved processes. But how do we improve the checks on these processes? So Trelleborg now have the uh, option of taking a containerized laboratory to site with us so we can actually check all the processes at site rather than having to send samples back to the UK. 
And uh, this is an example of the site here. And then, Jürgen, over to you. Good afternoon, Jürgen Schletten. What we say now is about the Weika term. It's, uh, we've been delivering rubber as a thermal insulation for over 27 years now. But it's still that challenge to go on all the time. We also deliver rubber as fire protection. Using that, it's quite simple because you can prove it through a certification system. When we deal with a thermal system, it's more into qualification. You have to prove every step. We do this by participating in international tests. Some carrying up to 15 months of testing. We do another test going through the physical challenging of it by bending test carried out both in Scotland and also on the 10 degrees below zero in Trondheim. It's a challenge also toward how can the material stand uh, if it's hit by a, a troll board. So a special troll board test is carried out where a hydraulic cylinder hits the pipe. In this case we were unlucky because the pipe itself collapsed to the pressure but still the integrity of the thermal insulation was just good. Using the challenge also where to operate this and how to operate it, we also carried out several tests where we do it below freezing. So this is tests carried out where we see the material act also below freezing. So it increased the window where you can apply the material and use it. So far this material is just barely been launched and we have 20 million in US dollar in order proving that uh, the material is fulfilling a need in the market. This is another sample because the challenge is then to get out in the field. And this is the first uh, big field installation we carry out as we speak now in Cyprus, where we have a substructure and a buoy, all to be covered by the uh, Wicotherm. You can see the challenges of it. It's on site in Cyprus. What we do there is we apply a mobile factory unit where we have the insulation rubber extruded out in the profiles, rolled onto the pipes, we include temperature measuring on it, build it up with the top layers to take the heat and uh, the beating of it, and vulcanize it. Because even though this material has been used for so many years and used normally in our autoclaves at home, to be in the field is no new stuff for us. We've been there through these 27 years, through all the field joints. So when we approach this and see how can we make the field joint more efficient, we approach the way we did it before, where we had basically a precast half shelf and filled it up. By then adding this new m method, proven, we can save the time a lot on that. So much that we actually say, why just stop with a field joint? Why not take more of part of it? And today that's a qualified system that we're using that I showed earlier on uh, carried out in Cyprus today. That means we can get out of the autoclave, out in the field, and do the job on site. The newest order we received is uh, Osegar gas compression field. It's a huge construction that in its size itself leads that we need to use a lot of field application. So the material through the lifetime will always continue to be better and be to fulfill the needs in the customer. Thank you.